Welcome back everyone. It is dessert day. I've got my crock pot out. I'm going to show you how to make slow cooker apple pudding cake. The perfect recipe for fall. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to keep it simple. We are using a box cake mix. The first part of a recipe, we are going to be making the cake batter. I'm using one box of super moist white cake mix. We're going to add that just to a medium bowl. Now you're going to make the batter per the directions on the back of the package, whatever cake mix you're using. Now if you want to use a yellow cake mix, you can do that for this recipe. That's fine. Let me tell you the size. It's 14.25 ounces. Are these getting smaller? <laughs> I feel like they are. <laughs> We're going to add half a cup of melted butter. Now the directions call for oil, but I'm going to bakery style this cake and do the butter. And we're going to add in three eggs. Ooh, those yolks look really good. I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. Now I brought my eggs to room temperature. Makes for a fluffier cake. Doesn't bind it together and make it too dense. Whoop, let's get that. Did I get it? Yep. All right. All right, we're going to add in some milk. So let me go get rid of these eggshells and we'll use that same measuring cup. That way we're not using too many dishes. And we're going to go in with one cup. Now the recipe calls for one cup of water, but I'm going to change that to the milk so that we have more of a bakery style. There we go. I'm just going to take my electric hand mixer. We're going to mix this all together until it's nice and smooth. Now don't over mix. It's okay to have a little bit of lumps in there from your cake mix. As long as it's just all combined. All right, we're done with that. Shake off the excess, shake it off. Now we're going to prepare our crock pot. <laughs> Husband's laughing at me over there. All right, we're going to prepare our crock pot. I've got some baking spray. It has some flour in it. What that does is help release the cake from your baking dishes. So I'm going to spray the bottom and the sides of our crock pot here. And I'm using a six quart and it's an oval shape. All right, there we go. Now we're going to take our batter that we have right here, and we're going to pour it in. Have your spatula ready so you can scrape it all out. Mm-hmm, this looks good. This is just one third of the cake right here. We're just going to smooth that out. All right, the second layer is going to be apples. I've got four Honeycrisp apples, and what we're going to do is peel these. We're going to take the core out, cut these into dice-sized pieces. They're going to go on top of that cake batter. So I'm going to take a vegetable peeler, and I'm going to start at the top of my apple and just peel all the way around. I love this peeler. It gets going, and it's hard to stop. <laughs> now I've already washed my apples. That's good. There we go. We're going to take our apple, we're going to cut it in half from top to bottom. We're going to lay it down. We're going to cut that in half lengthwise. I'm going to take my paring knife. We're going to flip these over. 
And then I'm just going to go in like a V, go down right there, midway, come along the other side, and we'll pull that out, and then just pop it out. All right, I'm going to take a lemon, I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm going to rub it over the apples. And then we're going to put those in our bowl and then finish the other three. Just rub it on there. This will prevent the apples from turning brown while we're finishing the other three up. All right, I've got the last two here. Now we're going to chop these up into bite-sized pieces or a little smaller. We want these to cook and get nice and tender in the crock pot. There we go. All right, I'm going to bring my chopper over here, let it do all the work. Got about um, one quarter inch blades in here to help chop these apples up. So I'm just going to place the quarters on here one at a time. Whack it in. This is my new chopper. It's always recommended you get a new chopper every so often because of the blades in it. They can get kind of dull and they don't chop very well. I'll do my part. I, I'll help with this. I think he knew that I'm at the end. <laughs> he took a part of the apple. It's totally fine. There we go. I got them all in here. There's a line right here. Five cups of diced apples. Let's go ahead and put these all on top of our cake batter in the crock pot. Now you can use any apple that you like. Baking apples are a really good ones since you are going to be cooking with these. Granny Smith apples for the fall also. But we tend to like these honey crisp. They're really good apples. Now we're going to make that layer that's going to give this a pudding-like consistency. In a large measuring cup, I've got one and a half cups of orange juice. Now you can just use your breakfast style orange juice or you can freshly squeeze your oranges. To that, I'm going to add half a cup of honey. Ooh, right there. I didn't bring my knife. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. All right, we're going to use the back edge of it and just scrape off the excess. There we go. That's flavor there, you guys. All right, now we're going to add two tablespoons of melted butter. And we've still got to add some fall flavor, so we're going to add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Grab a fork, blend this together very carefully. All right, let's bring our crock pot over that has the batter and our chopped up apples. We're going to pour a mixture all over the apples. This is a magic cake. There we go. Now watch what happens. I'm going to take a knife. I'm just going to swirl just a little bit. Just pull that cake batter up just a little bit so it gets all in between all of the apples. Not too much. Don't over mix. Just a nice swirl. Just like that. That's it. Right there. We're ready to cook this. What you want to do, because it is cake batter and as it's making a cake, the steam on the bottom of your lid will drip into it. And you don't want that to happen because you don't want your cake to be soggy. We want that pudding-like consistency, but not a soggy mess. So what I'm going to do is take a towel, kind of like a tea towel, not one of your fuzzy cotton towels, all right? I'm going to place it over the top of my crock pot and just lay it over it. And then you're going to take your lid and place it on. 
We're going to cook this on high for two to three hours. You want to make sure your apples are nice and tender and that the cake is cooked through. All right, you guys, I'm going to be back. I'm going to show you how we're going to dive into this. Look at this. All right, took two hours and 10 minutes about. I took the lid off. I had taken the towel off and it's very damp, which is good. We didn't want any of that dampness inside here. The cake is nice and done. You can see that it is like puddingy right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the apples are nice and tender. All right, let's serve this up. All we need is a scoop of ice cream and a fork. Look at that cake. It is done. And those apples, oh yeah, nice and soft. And I poured that pudding mixture, which is kind of on the bottom of the cake, right over it. All right, let me go in for a bite. Mmm. That's scrumptious. <laughs> Y'all want me to give you more words than delicious. There you go. All right. That cake is nice and spongy, and you got that pudding-like consistency that's underneath the cake. And those delicious apples. Don't forget to cover your crock pot before you put a lid on it. That way you can absorb all of that liquid that goes into it, and you don't want that. Don't forget your ice cream. I got it right here ready for my husband, who's going to put a scoop on his. <laughs> All right, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification that way. You'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.